Hello children, my fellow creators and in this video, we will discuss what is a microfilm or a micro short film. Intro. It's been so long since I last uploaded my latest video and that's because, as I've said, I'm a graduating student and now, finally, I have finished this school year. So, we're back to normal programming. And today, we will discuss what is a microfilm or a micro short film because if you search it in Google, it will tell you its meaning but technically. As Google would say, a microfilm is a length of film containing micro photographs of a newspaper, catalog, or other documents. That is explained technically. But a microfilm also has another meaning and that's what we will talk about today. So let's head on to the first point of the video. So basically, a microfilm is a film that lasts for 20 seconds up to 2 minutes, having 1 minute as the best length for a microfilm. And if you'll dig down here in my channel, you will see a lot of microfilms, such as Kabilang Buhay, which lasts for 1 minute and 18 seconds. The same with Letrato that lasted for about 52 seconds. So these are the examples of a microfilm and its length. Point number 2. It only needs a necessary amount of people. So what does this mean? In short, you need to scale down. So a crew of a feature film takes around 100 people. A crew of a short film takes around 30 people. But in a microfilm, it only takes a few people. And even sometimes could only be yourself. Some or just someone that could hold the camera, someone that would edit, someone that would direct, or someone that would act in the film. That only takes about 4 people to make a short film. I mean, a microfilm that would last for about 20 seconds to 2 minutes. Point number 3. Also, just like a short film, a feature film, it needs to have a well-written beginning, middle, and end. In short, simply, story is still the king, even in microfilms. Point number 4. Everything is done in a minimal way. Point number four relates to point number two. It only needs a necessary amount of people. That means that the film has to be minimal itself. So the number of takes, the number of cuts, the number of scenes should be minimal. And of course, the number of crew and gear should be minimal. But this doesn't mean that a microfilm is easier to make than a short film. Both of it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of effort to make. Lastly, point number five. The ending of a microfilm should matter just like the end of a feature film. So nothing is above and nothing is below. That means that a microfilm is just as equal important as a short film and as a feature film. We shouldn't think that microfilms are films that are easy to make because these are films that make us better. And here's why. So the reason behind why So the reason behind why a microfilm makes you a better filmmaker is because microfilm is like a practice. It doesn't take so much people to do that you can do it yourself. So the more that you do it, the more that you practice yourself. This may be in writing, in directing, in cinematography, or in editing or in any form or aspect of film making. Basically, the more experience you have, the more things you learn. So if you make microfilms a lot, then you learn a lot because you experience a lot. This may take experiences in editing, experiences in lighting, experiences in directing, experiences in writing. So that's it for this video. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and make your own short film now to be a better filmmaker. Please subscribe to my channel, we're almost gonna reach about 50 subscribers. For me, that's already a lot. So thank you so much for everyone that have subscribed in the past few days even I haven't uploaded any content in this channel. Also, comment down below any content suggestions that you want to see in this channel. And please hit the like button and see you in the next video where we will discuss landscape photography. Don't hate, just create. Thank you.